Hercules, 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 Hercules. <laughs> Switch news evolves every day. This time, we have more information, more specs on the upgraded Switch model. And it's stronger than you thought. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. All right, before we get started with this video, though, you know how we do it. Give it a thumbs up. We've been destroying the like button the last couple videos. Let's get this video over five hundred likes boy thumbs up right now all right right to the news a hacker slash data miner mike heskin he has discovered the specs for the new upgraded nintendo switch now for those of you that don't know of course yesterday <coughs> was yesterday i think it was yesterday or two days ago, yesterday, Nintendo revealed the Nintendo Switch Lite. The rumor, the, right, the, the story's evolving. That's right. All right, let me back up. All right, this all started last year, 2018. Wall Street Journal, they reported that um, Nintendo's coming out with two new models of Nintendo Switches. One, the Nintendo Switch Lite. Bro, I saw this post on Twitter. I was like, man, this would have been perfect. Nintendo missed a golden opportunity. Instead of calling it the Switch Lite, they should have called it the Light Switch. Get it? Light Switch? Like on and off? Bro, that would have been a perfect name. Light Switch. I'm going to start calling it the Light Switch. Whatever. All right. And so the rumor was you're going to have a Switch Mini, which we now know is the Switch Lite, and that Nintendo was going to upgrade the current switch model <laughs> with the reveal of the light yesterday a lot of dudes were like is nintendo gonna come out with a new switch with the switch pro more power and there was some leaked information of a system on a chip but we didn't get too much concrete information of what this new now you're gonna see, you're gonna see why i'm now calling it the new Nintendo Switch. All right, without further ado, let's get into the specs of this new model Nintendo Switch that's rumored to be on the way. All right, this is according to the data miner. Since firmware 5.0, <coughs> there has been support for three hardware lines. One with the original Tegra 210, that's the Switch, we, that's the Switch model, the Switch we have now. And two for the new Tegra 214, codename Mariko. All right. Those two hardware lines are Switch Lite and Switch New. Nintendo's not straying too far away from their naming. If this is true, DS Lite, new 3DS XL. So this new Switch could be called the new Nintendo Switch and <coughs> it wouldn't be exactly brand new hardware again it's supposed to look just like this switch but with upgraded internals let's find out what those eternals are internals are eternals internals all right check this out the original switch has four gigabytes of RAM and six gigabytes for the dev kit the new models have support for both 4 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes of RAM. I think that's what the PlayStation 4 currently has. Bro, that's double the RAM. That's what developers really want as far as that's where you could put more graphical assets in your game to make your games look better. That RAM plays a big role. So, this new Switch, according to this data miner, has eight gigabytes of RAM. All right, it, he continues. Both the Switch Lite and the new 
use LPDDR4X DRAM, DRAM <coughs> which grants a small battery boost due to lower voltages, so more efficient energy. Switch Lite has a smaller screen and non-detachable controllers, while new Switch should have the exact same form factor. So if you have a Switch, the new Switch is going to look just like this one. All right. This is, check this out. The GPU in the new Switch is clocked at higher values than Switch Lite, potentially giving a modest, a modest performance boost. And so expect a performance boost uh, whenever these new Switch models hit store shelves. We don't know when. Doug Bowser did say no new hardware other than the Switch Lite, but <coughs> Again, if it's going to look just like this, will it be considered new hardware? He may have gotten through a press loophole with that comment. And so, uh, we, we should see a modest performance boost. And don't get me wrong, the games on the Switch look good. But I just want like a little bit better 60 frames per second, the standard in most games. I'm um, 1080p, the standard in most games. I think that's a modest performance boost. That's good enough for me, bro. It's a shame that Nintendo released a first party game in 2019 that couldn't run in at least 720p. Yoshi Crafted World. Game still looked dope. Loved it. Beat it. But come on, bro. We want smoother frame rates. Just smooth things out, Nintendo. Just smooth it out, boy. All right, here it goes. Also, Larger than 32 gigabytes memory is possible in the new units. The current switch that we have, <coughs> 32 gigabytes is the maximum unless you get, um, you expand the memory. But they're saying that these new, the new Nintendo Switch could possibly have larger than 32 gigabytes, um, which would be cool. My opinion, bro, 500 gigabytes should be standard, bro. At least 500. Two, all right, he continues. Two models have been found in the firmware, code names Iowa and Calcio, and it's speculated that one will have more internal storage. So, they could release um, the new Nintendo Switch um, 100 gigabyte edition new Nintendo switch 500 gigabyte edition now this lines up with the rumors that said the switch mini which now we know is the switch Lite, is going to be ch a cheaper model and whatever this new switch is I'm dubbing it the new Nintendo switch <coughs> would be for more hardcore gamers what more hardcore it'll give us more it said in the rumor features that hardcore gamers more um would appeal to more it, the features would appeal i'm trying to get it out the features will appeal to more of a hardcore gaming crowd i did it boy all right here it goes also there's absolutely no evidence of an actual pro version in the sense that it would be based off the tegra x2 or have massive performance or memory improvements and so it's not going to be a huge upgrade oh this is some 4k next gen stuff no it's gonna be moderate and that's all we need that's all we need nintendo just give us a little bit a uh, little bit more performance and i think that's how nintendo's gonna do um iwata uh, was it iwata or Re god rest his soul before he died said that the switch was gonna be a family of systems and i think nintendo's going to incrementally uh, um, uh, upgrade the, the software over years, over time. So, the Switch, the new Nintendo Switch um, information has been leaked. Time will tell when we get the system. It could happen this year before holiday or I'm thinking early spring. Who knows? But, like I've been saying with the Switch Mini, where there's smoke, Oh, you better believe there is fire. All right. What do you guys think about this leak? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, 
click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out boy